course you know polar bears can swim and seals, but polar bears are mostly land mammals and they can't swim forever. They're, and additionally, the seals are too fast for the polar bears to catch. Normally, the polar bears would sit in the ice hole and wait for the seal to come up. Then they'll catch it. They won't be able to do this if there's no ice around. Not only polar bears lives lives get infected by climate change, but climate change almost affects everything on Earth. This is something that causes climate change. Greenhouse gases, like I talked about earlier, such as methane and other ones in the atmosphere, and it goes into the atmosphere and gets hot weather, and then the ice melts, and there's a whole other process. There are 250 babies born in an each minute. 250 in a minute. You know what that means, right? More cities, more cars, more factories. And in the future, well, right now, it's growing more pollution in the air. And the cars, the factories, that's getting the burned out oil gets into the atmosphere and then causes the climate change, change in the weather. So now you know climate change is a big problem. Please help the Earth. You can help by having an electronic car. As we know, a, a normal car has oil and it and it burns out the oil and then gets into a gas. And if you have an electronic ca car, it still has oil but really, really <coughs> little. So having an electronic car will help. And also you can spread the message and that will help too because then everybody will know about it and the earth will be um, will be without climate change and climate change will disappear. Climate change is not a thing. Hi. My topic is all about how what we build affects us, animals, and the environment. So before we start, so before we start, I want to tell you a little story that I had. I had a, I had a friend. His name was Fred. I played tennis, tag, and even ping pong with him. But over time, I forgot about Fred, and I and I lost him forever. But I want you to keep that story in mind until we end, because that will be important to my speech. Now I'll really begin. Have you noticed? It's actually been hot, getting hotter here in Panama, and it's and it's been and lately less rain has been coming. And that's all what that's climate change's effects on Panama. There are different effects depending where you are. Some places have more rain, some places are getting hotter, and some places are even getting colder. Now, now, right here, I want you to question yourself. What of those three effects is happening? And now try and guess the consequences that can happen because of that effect. Now, next, now you're probably wondering, if climate change is a thing, how did we create it or who created it? Well, you did, and everybody on the planet. We cause climate change because when we use cars, go anywhere you know, with car with normal cars and factories are running running and farms, they release methane and carbon dioxide that go up into the atmosphere and act as a blanket. The more you or thick you have a blanket, the more heat you get. That's why most of it is called global warming. But global warming isn't happening everywhere. 
It's just the just mostly is global warming. And now I'm now this is just the beginning, but the second part may shock you. Now I have counted over 23 species of animals that are dangerous because of climate change, and it's my belief that there is a that there is way way more so much. I could probably fit this room with all of them. Now, I think some of your favorite animals are also on those risk lists because of climate change. Cutest, cutest to biggest, or maybe strongest to weakest. And now, you now you're wondering. Well, what happens to them? How do they get endangered? There's two main factors. One is hab habitat loss, and the other is food loss. Let's talk about food loss first. Now, since, since the climate is changing all around the world, many plants and animals where, where the animals get their food from, or prey, can't adapt to the new climate. So they die, and then they and then the prey will have no food. Next is habitat. Just like the food, the habitat, if it's let's say like a jungle, can't adapt to the difference in temperature and the climate. Now, next up, here's some ways you can help. If you get a solar panel, instead of using electricity, you can use the sun's gaze to make electricity for you instead of buying it. And here in Panama, we have this thing called greenhouses. Now, wait. Before you say it like, wait, that's for planting. No, there's actually a greenhouse, a house perfectly designed to help the environment here in Panama. And now, this might sound weird at the beginning, but I'll explain. Now, I have an electric car, and I inspire you to get one too, because it may have lot, it may be expensive, but there's a profit to it. Now, one, it doesn't just help the environment. Now, for me, it's annoying. annoying. Every time you run out of fuel, you have to go to the nearest fuel shop or whatever you call, whatever you decide to call it, where you get fuel. And but with an electric car, it uses less fuel, so you have to spend less money for the fuel. And that's what I do. And it can save lots of money. Now. When you're doing your homework, instead of turning on the lights or air con, I recommend opening a window to get the cold breeze to go in and so you can get sunlight instead of turning on the lights because that wastes energy. So I recommend doing that. Now, I want to give you a question. There is is something that's going to come in a hundred years if we do not stop climate change now. I want you to search what that is, is just to give you a little wonder in there. Hey, remember that story in the beginning? I made it up. But, but, that's exactly what we're doing to the earth. We have time with it, and we've been forgetting about it. That's how we've been destroying its environment and, and making climate change and putting nature in danger. And now, take tomorrow. Next time you're outside, I want you to take a minute and just think about the environment. Be natural to the environment and help it. Thanks, thanks for listening to my speech. Goodbye.
school about this. We eat a lot of them each year. But what about those who just take a bite into them and just throw them away? Have you ever done that? I've seen it happen here at school at snack and at lunchtime. Have you ever thought about how it affects the environment or how much water it wastes? is? Probably not. Well, the Food and Agriculture Organization said that it wastes about 70 liters of water during the process. Many people who waste food just say, I can affect the environment with just a small action. But throughout the years, all of our food ends up in a landfill and is left to rot. According to the Move for Hunger organization, food waste has increased by 15% since 1974. That is a significant increase. So imagine how much food is wasted in our own cafeteria. Are we really being responsible citizens, citizens if we are so wasteful? Our choices impact our environment and the world we live in. According to the Move for Hunger organization, if we see a fruit or a vegetable that is not that is not flawless, we tend to throw it away, and all that food ends up in a landfill. We almost always want to have our, fr our refrigerators filled with food, but according to the Move for Hunger organization, our refrigerators have increased by 50% since the 1950s, and that causes us to not consume that much food and to leave it to rot. So that costs us even more food waste. All of our food waste comes mostly from animals. And if we waste food, we are just killing animals for no reason. And we are not letting the nature of our earth stay alive forever. So I would like to ask you a question. If you were an, an animal, would you like to get killed for no reason? Thank you.